But my friend Maria over there, oh my god, she thinks you're kind of cute. Please tell your friend Miranda to call me. Hello? Hey! Where are you? I've been waiting here forever. But didn't you get my message? I left it on your machine like an hour ago. No, I didn't call home. Is everything all right? I thought you were dead or something. No. No, I'm fine. I'm at Biggs. You're at Biggs? You and I are having dinner tonight. Well, he got this deal. You blew me off for a piece of politically incorrect meat? Well, he wanted to make me dinner. So you just dropped your life and ran right on over to his? Um, I really can't get into that right now. You know what? Your relationship is exactly the same as always. It's all about him. Could you put Miranda on, please? Enjoy your meal. Problem? No. <laughs> God, that outfit! Oh, <laughs> pissing me off! Arriving at the pool, wrapped in a sweaty practice <laughs> So Steve and Aiden open up a bar, right, in Sex and the City. Carrie goes to the opening and sees Aiden from across the room and he looks at her and just gives her one of these. And she's like, that's all I get? Bitch, yeah, that's all you get. You cheated on him. So Unpopular opinion check. So I just gotta say it. Carrie Bradshaw is the worst character on Sex and the City. Like, the worst one. She is the most ageist, the most homophobic, and quite frankly, the most prudish out of all of them, considering the show is about sex. Just no. I mean, in her fashion, no. I mean, SJP, gotta give it to you. You got great abs, but no. Give me Miranda, give me Samantha, give me Charlotte, but no Carrie Bradshaw. That's it. That's the TikTok. That's all I got for you in the city carrie would be top two and i'm not talking about number two like sometimes i didn't really care for charlotte because it felt like she could be a little judgmental towards the other girls but at the end of the day i felt like she definitely cared a lot about them and she wanted to be a good friend to them and she was willing to put in the work to be a good friend and i can't, i just can't say the same thing about carrie like one of the things that irritated me was it felt like she would prioritize so much stuff above her friendships especially the men in her life the two, like her two worst moments, the time she blew Miranda off to go hang with Mr. Big and didn't even tell Miranda, and the time, both of these have to do with Miranda, but the time Miranda fell in her bathroom and couldn't get up, and she asked Carrie for help, and Carrie decided to send Aiden. Like, that was so... Girl. Do I love Sex in the City? Yes. Do I love Sarah Jessica Parker? Yes. Is Carrie Bradshaw fucking annoying? Yes. Is that Andy Cohen? Yes. Examples of Carrie Bradshaw being so fucking annoying. Sex in the City series. What? Look at me. If I had never married Trey, then I never would have gotten divorced, and I never would have met my divorce lawyer, Harry, and I wouldn't be engaged now. Uh-huh. <gasps> Paper covers rock. Rude! Gary. No, no. Oh my god. Pull yourself together. Giant squirrel in that window right there. I'm embarrassed oh. for you. Well, I mean, I'm not working. This is my boyfriend's booth. I'm his booth bitch. Boo. Made a video last week about realizing that Carrie Bradshaw is 32 at the beginning of Sex and the City and how that's really weird for me because I'm also 32. I'm rewatching the original series mainly to figure out why Miranda is so messed up in the reboot. But something that is really refreshing about the original, as problematic as the series is, 
is seeing women in their 30s who do not have Botox, who do not have fillers and have not had work done. I do not have anything against any of those things. I think women should be able to do whatever they want with their face, with their bodies, etc. But seriously, even in the intro, she's got this. I feel so much better. So I made a video last week about real life. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed these TikToks. I really am enjoying these and just like that in Sex and the City TikToks. They're really a lot of fun. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and check out my other videos. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.